chart shows uh, NASA's identification of fireballs since October of 2013. Note that the vast majority of fireballs are classified as sporadics. In other words, they are not identified with any known meteor shower. Now, they may occur during the same time period as a named meteor shower, but they travel in different directions and occur in different parts of the sky. So what's happening in our solar system? It appears that one of a couple of things is happening. The solar system is moving into an area of space where it is encountering a higher density of rocks and asteroids along with the debris trails of some comets. Or something such as Nemesis is approaching the inner solar system and perturbing comets and asteroids from the Kuiper belt and or the Oort cloud. Now the two scenarios are not exclusive but the first scenario could also be triggered by the second. The Nemesis hypothesis proposes that the Sun has a companion star, a brown or red dwarf, in a highly elliptical orbit that periodically disturbs comets and asteroids in the Oort cloud, causing a large increase in the number of comets visiting the inner solar system and a consequential increase in impact events on Earth. Now, we're being told that the Nemesis twin sun has yet to be detected by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Telescope. But WISE has discovered several brown dwarfs in neighboring star systems. So, what exactly is happening in 2016? Well, as you will see by this chart, the fireballs continue to significantly increase. The weather keeps getting more and more extreme, with records being broken every day. Here's a shocking example for you. In the year 2015, this was the first year in records going back to the year 1875 that we have seen more confirmed tornado-related deaths in December than in the rest of the year combined. We now not only have land hurricanes, but we have winter blizzard cyclones and river flooding at the same time. We're seeing snow in areas where it has never snowed before. Vietnam, Laos, Taiwan, southern China, Okinawa, and the Caribbean. These are subtropical and tropical countries where they shouldn't have snow. Some of these places have received up to seven or eight inches of snow. For instance, in Vietnam, south of Hanoi, they received 7.87 inches of snow. This is the first snow ever in this area. Temperatures dropped into the mid-20s Fahrenheit in December when normally it is supposed to be in the mid-70s. Meanwhile, in the Arctic, temperatures were 50 degrees above the average. Now, this has never happened before where you have snow and 50 degrees below normal in the tropics and then 50 degrees above normal in the Arctic. This is unprecedented. In December through January in England, where only a few flowering plants may be in bloom due to milder winters, there was this past winter more than 600 species in bloom, 612 to be exact. Never before in history has this happened. 